All right, so I want you guys to imagine this. You guys are sitting on your couch, you're playing a <coughs> scary game, playing a really scary game. It's dark outside, and um, it's like nighttime, you know. Things happen. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you have, well, and you have this guy chasing after you. <laughs> He's coming after you in the game. And all of a sudden, you're running, you're sweating, you're running for your life. And that happens. You go crazy. And then you're dead. You die in the game. And you're sitting there and you're thinking, how come I almost died in this game? How come I just almost died playing this game? Well, I'd like to tell you it's all because of these. Your games. These games create one of the most insane simulations you've ever experienced in your life. Um, and throughout our lives, they're going to get even more insane. Um, so, well, nope. Okay. Consoles in um, in this generation are changing, and uh, games are going to feel even more realistic. But because of one thing, probably the graphics. Uh, the graphics are changing in a way. The graphics are changing in a way to where they make uh, games feel more realistic, and um, they look more realistic, like this is the real life and this is in a game, they look almost identical. Um, but uh, I'd like to talk to you guys about one uh, game and console in specific, like uh, the Xbox One. Who knows about the Xbox One? Everybody should know about the Xbox One. If you don't raise your hand, you don't know anything. Um, so the Xbox One uh, graphics are phenomenal. They come with the... Um, GPU or the graphic processing unit that um, is coming really close to achieve, achieving virtual reality. The um, Xbox One GPU is um, clo very close to the PC's Raiden 7 or 700, 7,000, 790. That's what this is. This will be 7,790, 7, which is great for uh, video gaming, and it also comes with 12. Uh, compute units which help the uh, GPU. Um, the Xbox One may have a, a good gaming system, but um, there are some that outrule it, which uh, comes to my next statement. Um, the P PS4. The PS4 comes with a mid-range uh, uh, crane, which is this one, and it is um, a HD Force 7870, which is also a reason. And it's the newer version, which comes out with 18 compute units, which is all, well, we all know, is a lot faster than 12. Uh, the uh, PC uh, GPU is um, very, very uh, good. But um, I'd like to talk to you guys about um, the precursors, the games that, the gaming consoles that came out before these new ones came out, like uh, the Xbox 360. The uh, 360 was uh, thought to be one of the kings of multiplayer gaming because of the experiences in multiplayer games. Um, we should take a look at why this, why these games, or gaming kit systems, have uh, changed our um, gaming lives, should I call it. Uh, the Xbox 360 comes with a GPU called the Exos, which was um, made by Microsoft itself. It comes with two silicone ICs, which are integrated circuits. And uh, one of them is the GPU itself, and the other one is a 12 uh, megabyte RAM, which uh, does coloring and alpha processing practically coloring the total. Um, this might sound a lot, but it really isn't. It's just that, is all it is. But um, the thing is, is that these, this GPU um, overheated a lot and made a lot of noise when it was overheated. So um, they fixed the problem in the later versions of the Xbox 360, but they didn't do it as well as they did in the Xbox One. Um, so 
So all these new consoles uh, show that mankind can go far, uh, can go farther than our imagination, our imaginations can think of. When you turn on a console, you're turning on a piece of a gigantic puzzle that that has been there for the other piece. That has to be there for all the other pieces pieces to make a picture. When you're thinking of, if you think about it, when you're playing a game with your friend, you're playing in a new world, and the world is designed by you and your friends. Um, um, and uh, this brings me to another point I have of the networking. These new consoles are uh, ex expanding beyond our wildest dreams. So networking is also Networking is, um, without a doubt, the fastest growing online community in the internet society. Um, so many people online with games that randomly choose people to play against. Um, if you actually think about it, if you were playing a game of Call of Duty, you're just sitting there and you're just playing it, and you have no idea who you're playing against. No idea. They could be from Sweden, they could be from Australia. You have no idea where they're from. Um, and, uh, and you build relationships with these people, and they don't even speak the same language. Um, so even though if you guys are, are gamers or are gamers, um, I just wanted to show you guys that gaming actually can change some of your lives. And if you think about it completely, Blank completely. Uh, it's got. It's completely gone to being a pair of glasses, to where you're playing a game like on the Oculus, and experiencing technology everywhere you're at. So gaming grows with it as well. 